Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Lisa here with McKinsey, and we're going to make a, uh, a green juice. All right, this is actually a really awesome recipe. It's a great base recipe, and from there, you can sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want, but this is a go-to base recipe with a lot of simple ingredients, but very, very, very tasty. And today, we're using the Omega Juicer, which is excellent if you're juicing more of the leafy greens and the herbs. It does a much better job at extracting the juice out of those. So Mackenzie's going to make the juice. Mackenzie, say hi. Hi. Do you want to make the green juice? Okay. All right, well, we better get started because this could take a couple minutes. <laughs> All right, then. you know what to do. Ready? Put it in there. Okay. You want to put all the vegetables in there? Push it down. Stand up. Push it down. There you go. There you go. Put that in there. And I like to kind of mix it up with, between the waterier, waterier vegetables and the spinach, for instance. It just kind of helps to uh, push everything through. So I'll do some of the celery, which is practically all water, as well as the cucumber, and then put in some of the spinach. I normally like to add a uh, hot pepper if I have one, which makes it really good. A little spicy, but it's good. A lot of people like to add um, ginger. You can add um, lemon. Carrots and apples tend to make it a tad bit sweeter. Mackenzie, you want to push it down? I'm going to do a little bit, honey. Let's put some of the, uh, the herbs. So I forgot to say what we have here. We've got um, celery, cucumber, dill, cilantro, and spinach. And I will do the cilantro last because uh, Jen does not like cilantro, so that's for me at the end. I love it. But the herbs just make it so good. I don't know how to describe it, just real cal a very calming and relaxing juice. Push it down. And wait till you see the colors of this juice. I mean, it's just so green. And when you juice like this, um, if you're not that familiar with juicing, we are leaving behind all the fiber. So that makes it so much easier to, to drink and for the body to digest, which is why this is enough for two people. It'll probably make about, maybe we'll find out, maybe like 20, 24 ounces of juice. But who could who could eat all this? <laughs> I couldn't. Job, you can push it down with a little uh, little stopper. There we go. Push it all the way through. Perfect. You can put kale in here put any kind of green, you could put, um, what else have we done, you can make a sweeter juice, probably do a video on that, like a carrot apple juice, Kinsey really likes that, put some spinach in it, let's do some celery, so actually, uh, even simpler than this is a juice just made up of uh, carrots and celery. And I really like that because carrot juice, sometimes when you just juice it on its own, it can be really, really, really sweet. Kind of make you super hyper if you uh, drink coffee or espresso in the morning you need that pick-me-up. Just drink a glass of uh, carrot juice. <laughs> and you'll get the same effect. Trust me. It's my camera person, Jen, mm -hmm. knocking over stuff. <laughs> But when you, I found that when you mixed it with the celery, it really 
took away a little bit of the sweetness, just kind of diluted the carrots. And oh my god, it was such an awesome drink. I did like equal parts cal uh, carrots to uh, celery. I just put some cucumber in, Mackenzie. You want you want to put it in, and I'll push it down. Can you put that cucumber in? And don't be afraid to get your kids involved. Uh, of course, I would never leave here and, and let Mackenzie do this on her own, but the kids want to help, and, and I find that when Mackenzie, you know, helps get everything kind of prepped up and washed, and she knows what's going in the juice, that and she helps me, she wants to try it afterwards. Um, we'll see if we get her approval when we're done. Mackenzie, are you going to try the green juice? Are you going to have some of the green juice, honey? Yeah? The juicer is um, a little bit slower. I'm not good with all the fancy lingo here with the different types. Um, but basically, there's two types of, well, there's probably more than two types, but I own two types. Uh, this is kind of an old fashioned juicer, but it basically has a uh, mesh uh, strainer that spins around very, 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 very fast. And it kind of spits out the, the vegetable, the fruit that you're juicing. And uh, it kind of grates it up in little pieces. And it, it goes very quick. I mean, you can make a juice in uh, seconds to a minute. Um, but, it, which is an advantage to it. It doesn't do a very good job at, uh, like I said, the, the spinach. If I put spinach in, I find that I have to use, you know, twice as much or three times as much just to yield the amount of juice that uh, the Omega would. The Omega is actually a very slow turning uh, machine. I don't know if Jen, if you could come over here and, and uh, show the, the way the juicer is spinning. It runs very, very slowly. It's just kind of like this, I don't know um, how to describe the part, but it just, it just spins, and it kind of starts large, and then it gets smaller as it goes down to the um, to the end, and kind of squeezes everything, and uh, comes out here, in which I'm glad I looked down, because we need to empty our little juicer here, Mackenzie. We're almost done here, so let's get a big old, actually, let's get a big old cup. Mackenzie, let Mama um, get this juice out real quick. Stand back a little bit, okay? So everything kind of gets put in here, the waste, which you can see is not very really much. And then we've got this little strainer here. Watch out, honey. And we're gonna dump this juice here. This cup I know is 24 ounces, so we're probably gonna make it right on the money. So. Okay, Mackenzie, we're almost done. You getting thirsty for some juice? You want some green juice? You want to help Mama finish? Okay. Okay, push it down here. Push it in here. Alright. There you go. Perfect. This juicer right here, because it runs at a much slower um, speed, tends to not oxidize the um, fruits and vegetables as much, so in other words, it has a much cleaner um, taste, and I, and I find that it lasts a lot longer, so if you are the type of person that's kind of busy and you don't have enough time to, uh, to sit here and, and make, a, make a green juice, you can actually juice this uh, ahead of time and just store it in a glass uh, mason jar with a, uh, a lid and uh, you'll be good to go. Alright, I think we're good here. So basically, I'll just reiterate what went in here, is we had a whole stock of celery, we had one whole European uh, cucumber, we had a good bunch of dill, and probably 
we used maybe like a third of this container. I had used some earlier in the smoothie. You okay there, Rylan? You want to come in here? Slow Rylan. Oh. As most of you know, we have three daughters, twin girls, so they want to see what's going on too. Mackenzie, are you ready to taste the green juice? You want to see how it is? So I'm going to put a little bit in a cup for Mackenzie here, and uh, she's going to tell us how it is. Let's put it in here. Mackenzie, you going to try the green juice, honey? You want to tell us how it is? All right. Green juice. Mackenzie's going to tell us how it is. Mmm, is it good? Don't put it down, let me taste it. And it's so good. Awesome stuff. You like it, Mackenzie? Want another sip? Mmm. And listen, if you can get a child to eat, drink even two tablespoons, a quarter of a cup of green juice, you'd be doing pretty good. So, uh, no playing, honey. Anyways, nice base recipe for a juice. Go make some juice, get creative, add what you want. But if you start with this, you won't be disappointed. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Lisa with Raw Food for Kids. Subscribe to these videos. Take care.